I knew that I was gonna have some problems lighting this. And so what I actually did was I rented a studio in the building that I have a studio and I actually use daylight for most of it. So for the wrappers and setting up the background, the black background, Gilles and I set up that black background and it took some rigging. We had to put something covering it so it would, to get a really solid black is not easy to do when you're lighting something for a background. Uh, that was one thing that was unusual that I realized at a certain point that I would be better off using daylight. There was so much improvisation and climbing up ladders and hanging from pipes and clamping to whatever's there until he got it just right. They were very patient with me, you know, doing things and trying things. Um, usually, most of the time. Mick less so being patient. Um, and then a lot of it was in the, in the post, you know, just figuring out how things would work ultimately and see, making see the scenes work properly. Um, because it's still, you're still dealing with performances, so no matter how much you plan it, and there's two of them in almost every scene. So occasionally I actually did, as what I realized at one point was to not have them overlapping visually when possible because then I can use one of them from one take and another from another take and I often did that also. So I did kind of a split screen although it was the same scene so the viewer doesn't realize that. Another thing was the location. Actually in the middle of it where Lucky and Pazza where the rope part of it happens um, that was at a really nice location called Opus 40 outside of Saugerties. And the original concept was to do the whole thing there. And then when we were doing the rehearsals and I saw that the white background was really working well, I decided that that would be the way to go. And Mick, I had to initially convince Mick to even do it at Opus 40. Then when I kind of changed my mind, he was sold on that and I had to convince him to go back to do the white background. And then I thought later that it was gonna be too much to have the one solid background. And then I said, let's do the middle section with Pazzo and Lucky back at Opus 40. And he had already been convinced two times and he was settled on that. And I had to really work hard to say that this was gonna be a good thing. One of the nicest things is how we work together. Steven's right about that. We just had a lot of fun doing it and, and we agreed on most everything and everything we had a problem with, Steve would find a solution or an alternate way of doing. That was really terrific. And there was um, one, another funny thing was once I saw after several weeks that they were going to really embrace me as being a third equal creative force, which I was very happy about, uh, sometimes there was little gang up on each other. So since there's a three, we'd have each combination of two going, no, no, that's, that's not a good idea. That's silly or stupid. Um, but it was an, a lot of fun. It was really a lot of fun to do.